Bugatti has gone through numerous changes over the last few years. The first was when the French brand changed ownership from German Volkswagen to the Croatian Rimac. A couple of weeks later, Bugatti announced that their Chiron successor was now ready to showcase itself in all its splendor. The most interesting thing is that it will not have the 16-cylinder engine and its place will be occupied by the hybrid power plant. The vehicle is comprised of a V8 as well as an unidentified number of electric motors. However, today we won't talk about these issues, however. We will talk about the possibility of release of a fully-fledged SUV that is under the Bugatti brand. Let's face it, the niche of hyper SUVs isn't yet occupied by any brand. There isn't one manufacturer in the world that has a product unique in this niche. Bugatti may have been the first to take this approach for a long time and even tried to develop this kind of product. The company's representatives repeatedly sought out Volkswagen for the purpose of developing their own hyper SUV, but did not receive approval from Volkswagen's parent company since it was VW that was responsible for the costs of creating the world's first SUV. The idea was not liked by the German shareholders, and a product that was viewed as controversial appeared to them to be a shady idea. But, a couple of years later, Lamborghini launches its Urus and shows the world that crossovers are a good idea when you are truly well known, even though they are expensive. For a time, Bugatti forgot about the idea of developing an SUV of its own. It was when the merger with Remak was announced, as did a change in the direction, and the creation of the Bugatti Bolide. But the idea of launching their own vehicle was not a priority in the minds and hearts of Bugatti's engineers. When the company merged with the Croats, the company, it exploded with renewed enthusiasm. The company has been talking about a possible project and there are a lot of favorable conditions for it. Drawing board once again showed a massive five-door car with design elements that reflected the style of the French brand. Rumors started to circulate across the web that the firm had began to design its own Spartacus. The current conditions are more than ideal. You can decide on your own. The demand for luxury SUVs that focus on sports is high. This is evident by the acclaim of the Lamborghini Urus and Ferrari Purosong, the Aston Martin DBX managed to get the company out of the economic slumber. The second issue was the change in the leadership who are more devoted to non-standard projects and has a remarkable technological foundation to allow the implementation of any complexity projects that involve the construction of electric or hybrid power plants. It's all about RIMAC. The final point that stands out in favor of project is the fresh power plant. It will be the next generation of the Chiron. We're discussing the same hybrid transmission that consists of a baffling new generation, I-8 and electric motors that allow it to generate incredible returns. If you are able to believe the information that comes directly from the French company, the power plant could easily generate 2000 horsepower and is a perfect fit in the design of the upcoming crossover. This is because the power of the engine, as per preliminary research, will be boosted to 2,000 horsepower. This is the strongest crossover ever, and certainly the fastest. The most interesting aspect is that the main effort to attain this level of power will be placed upon the shoulders of electrometers, and the gasoline engine will generate an 800 GP herd. Koenigsegg utilizes a similar approach in Gamera, where there is a three-cylinder engine installed. Most importantly, Bugatti has to deal with weight, as SUVs are heavy, and there is too is the presence of the hybrid power plant. Bugatti will be able to solve this issue by making use of a massive amount of carbon fiber, which will be utilized to construct the structure of the new model. In addition, remember, that the whole electrical aspect that includes the creation of motors to be used in this project will be handled by Remak and their team. They are skilled at constructing small and light components for hybrid and electric transmissions. When will the first public appearance, or at a minimum, an official announcement for a fully-fledged SUV from Bugatti will take place? The event is expected to take place by 2025 or later. First, you must get through the first year of the successor to Bugatti Chiron 
and following that, the company will announce its intention to develop an identical product unless, of course, it is again cut off in the early stages of development and then relegated to a lengthy time drawer, which has been the case several times under Volkswagen.